There are a number of ways you can search for articles relevant to your research project. Today, we are going to cover how to find an article when you only have a citation. This is what is sometimes referred to as backwards searching. First, let's review citation styles. A citation style is a documentation format which refers to a set of rules devised by a discipline or association to standardize the writing process and the inclusion of additional sources. A citation itself is a means of providing evidence for statements you make in an essay, paper, presentation, or a longer work. It tells your audience where to find the same information you used for evidence to support your argument, findings, or conclusion. Although there are many different citation styles that have been developed to satisfy the, the needs for different academic disciplines, there are three you will most likely encounter in college. MLA, which is very common in English and the humanities, APA, which is used primarily in psychology but is also used in various sciences, and Chicago or Turabian, which is almost exclusively used in history or political science on campus. Each style organizes and formats information in a citation a little differently. Regardless of those differences, citations almost always include three key pieces of information. The author, the title, and the year. Additional information is included to indicate the type of source that is being cited. Once you're comfortable with the essentials, it will become easier to recognize differences between a citation for a book versus an article in a journal. In this example, I have cited the exact same journal article in three different styles. You might recognize the first one has been cited in APA. Journal article citations usually include the following pieces of information in addition to the key three. The journal title, the volume and issue numbers, the page ranges, and if the article is digital, it will include a DOI or a link. Using the link is the easiest way to find an article online, but if the article isn't freely available, the publisher's website will ask you to pay. Never pay for an article. That's what the library is for. Let's practice. There are three different articles cited in three different citation styles below. Can you identify the journal title for each citation? If you identified complementary therapies in clinical practice, phytotherapia, and antiviral chemistry and chemotherapy, then you are absolutely right. While each citation style has different formatting rules, there are often similarities we can rely on for identifying the pieces of information we need. For example, the journal title in the first two citations is italicized. The journal isn't italicized in the third citation. However, there's another clue we should keep in mind. Volume, issue, and page numbers are often included after the title of a journal. In all three citations, the numbers come directly after the journal title. If we want to find an article from a citation in a library's collection, we need to identify these essential pieces of information. Let's keep practicing with a list of references on the consequences of anti-science movements. Remember, the three key pieces of information are the author, title, and year. Can you identify each in the highlighted citation on the right? Now we know that the author is P.J. Hotez, the title is Anti-Science Kills, and it was published in 2021. Can you identify the name of the journal? Nice work. Now that we know the key three and the journal title, which is PLOS Biology, we just need to use the right tool to find the article on the library's website.